this is like my third attempt on doing this video you guys because i wanted to be good i know it ain't gonna be perfect but dang what's up you guys welcome back to my channel it is your girl brie and today we are back with another video which is what's it like attending miles college what's it like attending an hbcu i guess in general what are the pros and cons you feel me and just kind of more about my lifestyle there and campus life dorm life you know things of that nature i guess and yeah, so yeah, finna get right down with the get down. Y'all already know, I forgot, but um, make sure y'all like and comment and subscribe. Make sure y'all hit that bell down here. It's gonna be right there down here somewhere, you feel me? And um, make sure y'all click the bell so y'all will be notified and get those notifications when I do make videos, you guys. Oh yeah, guys, before we get started with this video, I'm like procrastinating. I wanna show y'all this look. Yes, I'm going to try to do a tutorial on this, but here's the thing, you guys. I don't really know how to put on lashes, and today, I think I did it because, like, I really wasn't thinking about it. So, yeah, that's that. But, yeah. So, first thing is first. Obviously, my name is Bree. Um, originally, I am from Columbus, Ohio, but all of my family, like, my well, majority of my family still resides in Alabama and in Birmingham. I got, like, a few family members up here. But, yeah, I was born and raised up here, and then I kind of went back and forth. And now I'm back down there for college, you feel me? As well as my little sister. So, yeah, that's kind of dope. Um, I'm 24 years old. I am a communication major with a concentration in digital journalism I don't want to be like you know on radio TV or something like that one day whichever well whichever I go in first I know it's not gonna be right away you feel me I gotta work your way up to it which that's what I'm planning to do but I want to go somewhere within that route uh, I love editing and stuff as you can see I'm still trying to get you know more comfortable with the camera obviously but hey that's that um what else what else I'm in the band here. I am PMM and I am also Tau Beta Sigma, Theta Six. So yeah, um, that's basically it. I just be chilling and working and going to class. And so yeah, that's why I'm here to make this video. With further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this video, you guys. So first thing is first, I'm just gonna let y'all know. Um, I have my little handy dandy notebook right here. So I will be looking up and down, um, you know, slightly throughout the video or whatever. You know, I took a little few notes when I was at work the other day and I was like, yo, I really have to make this video because um, a few people have contacted me actually asking like, when are you gonna make this video? What all do I need to know before I get there? What's around campus? You know, questions within that nature. And I'm just like, oh, okay, like I got you, I got you. So this is that video. It might be like two parts or whatever. That's okay, but I'm gonna give you all the real deal information i'm not gonna sugarcoat anything but i'm not gonna bash my hbcu as well like no but just know there are you know some cons about going to an hbcu like oh my god like i wasn't aware of before that well i i honestly wasn't aware like you know it was just like dang you feel me but anyways we're gonna get we were going to get into that so yeah first thing is first uh main information so first thing is first the main information is period miles college so i Obviously, Miles College is a privately, historically black college. Um, it's in Fairfield, Alabama, which is suburbs of Birmingham, Alabama, which is technically Birmingham to me. But anyways, yeah, um, it's technically, it's, it's a suburb of Birmingham. So it's 45 minutes away from Tuscaloosa, about an hour 20 from Montgomery. I think about the same for Huntsville, I'm not too sure. Um, might be a little less, I don't know. It just depends on how you drive, you feel me? Um, it's two hours from Atlanta. So, you know, it's kind of right there in the middle of everything. Um, it was founded in 1898, and it is also associated with the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. I cannot pronounce that word, but I got it right. But um, it is a Methodist church, you guys, so it is church affiliated. So just be aware that your freshman year, most likely, you're going to have to put chapel in your schedule. So yeah, go ahead. Already be aware. You're going to have to put that in your schedule your freshman year or whatever. Um, we have about 1,700 or more students. Me, personally, I feel like we have more than that. There's a reason to that. I will get into that later on throughout this video but um 
But um, we also have five student dormitories, which is Snorton, Duoretic, Murchison, Bass, Pitts Hall. Uh, let's see. The campus is about 76 acres. I don't really too much know anything about acres, but I can name a building for you guys, which is Brown Hall, which is majority, which is where financial aid, chapel, you know, where you go to pick up your refunds and all of that. Um, let's see. We got Mackenzie Hall, Taggart Hall, uh, LRC, which is the library. We got Pearson, Clyde Williams, uh, Alabama Hall. I feel like I'm missing a few, but hey, um, that's some of them, you guys. We also have our first female president, which her name is Dr. Bobby. Yeah, her name is Dr. Bobby Knight. Um, she's pretty cool or whatever. I think she gets the job done for the most part. Um, if you play sports or anything, we are in the SIAC Conference, which is the SIAC. We are in the NCAA Division II, so we are a Division II school. Like I said, if you play sports or anything, um, our colors are purple and gold. You know, we are the Miles College Golden Bears, so that's the mascot, the Golden Bears, you feel me? And yeah, that's, that's a few things so far. <sighs> The motto, um, the one I know is minutes away, miles ahead, but they have another one that is knowledge and peace and love for all. Um, I've never heard that within five years that I've been there. I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that it's not, but I've, I just never heard it. So yeah. Um, so y'all, I know y'all curious about what kind of bachelor degrees they offer here. You know, what's our programs, the majors, you know, this, this and that. So I'm finna give y'all the whoop. So for me, I like to talk, you feel me? Especially when I'm real comfortable with you. Like I'm very comfortable comfortable with people um i love talking you feel me and for me communication i am like i said i'm a communications major with a concentration in digital journalism you know if you're into graphic designer which i like as well photography videography and public relate public relations and things within that nature that's the major to kind of go through you feel me if you want to be all of that um we have been business and accounting we have criminal justice which is one of the top programs i believe i heard um we have education humanity natural sciences as well as social and behavioral sciences so yeah oh and education and mathematics so yeah um it's a lot of people that are like biology majors that I know just it's a lot like I feel like I'm missing some but yeah those are just a few so yeah also, so I know y'all wondering like, yo, what's to do with half? Like, what's it like on campus? What's to eat? So that's what I'm gonna tell you. So if you stay on campus or whatever in a dorm, you're automatically subject to have a meal plan. So you're automatically gonna have that. As long as you have your ID and you're able to scan it and you stay on campus and you sh and your name is on that piece of paper with your student number or whatever, and you tell them and they see it, you're good to go. As long as you have your ID or whatever, just go in there. You feel me? You get your plate. Things were a little different this semester. You kind of did the same thing. You walked in there, had your mask on, go to the stain, scan your face. It'll be like temperature detected is normal. Then you go, you get your stuff, scan your, well, you scan your thing, get your stuff, go in there, get whatever food you want, then you go out of there. You really wasn't able to eat in there like that. Um, we do have an activity center as well as like a little lounge area. So this, the activity center is up top, well, upstairs above the calf. So you have to go up either elevators or steps and there's like a gaming center. There's like advisors up there. There. there's different offices um there's a gym there's like an area where they have like the karaoke nights pajama nights things within that nature um i said there was a gym it's kind of like a little chill area and then they have like the little gaming center and then downstairs kind of like right by the calf but it's like it's in the same building it's in the same building but you just have to walk like literally you feel me right next door um the Bears Den is kind of expensive. I'm not even gonna cap y'all. It's kind of a more expensive version of the calf. It's not really, I mean, it's good, you feel me? But it ain't nothing I eat every day because it's it's more expensive than fast food, like no cap. So yeah, just be very mindful on that. I'm like, what? He been making that ruckus for a minute and it's probably gonna be in this video. But yeah, y'all, just be mindful on that. I had to pop a piece of gum, man. My mouth was getting dry. <laughs> All right, so also in the Bears Den, um, well, before COVID, you were able to sit and chill in there, you feel me, and watch TV and just do homework. I'm not too sure if you can do that anymore. A lot of people was just sitting outside of there and just ordering food and then walking straight out. So yeah, um, uh-oh. We do have the stadium, um, which is Albert J. Sloan Stadium, which I've marched on plenty of times. It is a dope-ass stadium, but um, like, oh, uh, I ain't even gonna cap. People be out there doing things that they 
they ain't supposed to do, y'all. So they be having the stadium on lockdown, you feel me? You really can't go in there. At least it was locked down this semester as well. Um, so yeah. Um, football games be lit in that hoe, feel me? Especially like homecoming, um, certain like rivalry games or whatever, or like big games or whatever you want to call it. It be lit. People be up there tailgating on the hill. So it's worth it. Like it's dope. You know, the band be there. We be showing out. We be cutting the fuck up or whatever. It's just that. Um, so yeah. What else you guys? Okay. So student activities. We have a uh, student government association, which is SGA. We have honors curriculum. Um, we also have academic organizations. We have athletics. We have athletics such as, you know, football, obviously, basketball, women's and men. Um, we have softball, baseball. I think there's a golf team, I'm not too sure. Um, you know, it's a few different sports, so. Oh, we also have the band, PMM for the one time. Um, you know, we also have religious groups. We have MC Lee, I believe it's a modeling, like agency, it's kind of really dope. They have fashion shows or whatever. So they're also, they're always hosting, um, you know, events around campus. That's one thing they're always doing. Um, we also have D9 organizations as well as non Greeks, and we also have our band fraternities and sororities now, so it's pretty dope. You feel me? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna really talk about a few things, and I'm gonna try to make it quick and not be so long winded about it. All right, so, alrighty, so. First thing is, um, how are the instructors? Like, what are they like? So, so some of the um, instructors are pretty dope. They're pretty chill, you feel me? They'll work with you. But the thing is, in order for them to be like that with you, you have to show them that you're really, really trying. And you also have to speak with them at the beginning of the semester. Just put them aside and be like, yo, hey, Miss da 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 da, or hey, doctor, or da 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 da, this is what's going on, I'm working, I'm in a band, so I do this so I'm coming back and forth like just work with me you feel me I will get the work done da 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 you know just talk to them and they're they will work with you like as long as you go to class and show your face and show that you're trying they will work with you but if you just you feel me not going to class not doing shit you feel me just saying fuck it it's just like it's a wrap like you done for like you right just done for um you're gonna get yourself messed up you're gonna uh I think it's I believe it's called sap you'll get on that and then you'll have to do an appeal it's just too much y'all so don't get into any of that granted granted y'all um there are some professors or and or instructors that are just pure assholes at miles like any college excuse my language but it's just like any other college pwi school there they are there are assholes of professors there um it is what it is just try your best you feel me um campus life basically is like whatever you make it you feel me like it is what it is you gotta make it do what it do um for the most part like i said there are events that happen if they're not every night they're every other night you feel me they're frequently um last semester even during covid there were a few it was like social distance or whatever and they were outside before the weather got a little cooler so it was kind of dope um homecoming it is homecoming week is kind of lit for the most part everyone is up just all night all hours of the morning you're just there kicking it for the most part um uh, some people have class some people don't it just depends on like the instructor mainly but most of them are cool and most most of them understand so it's kind of dope you feel me um i'm in the band so we were always in practice for homecoming which was kind of funny in a way because i go back and i think i'll be like dang like i missed that and we'll just be like like on the field like standing out at attention or whatever listening to like other people have fun or this this and that like it used to be fun but then like you feel me like when we got out oh it used to be a rap we used to go out there and cut up with them folks out there too y'all it used to be hilarious um it's different parties they have during homecoming week phone party they had a karaoke night a pajama night it's all different types of stuff like i said y'all there's fashion shows on campus um as well as the d9 organizations i believe they have like miss black can go miss Phi beta sigma um it's a few other ones i'm not gonna say the wrong name but it's a few other ones they be having similar to that as well so it's pretty dope um i know they have something similar to like a wild and out they'll have talent shows which is really dope because you'll see a lot of people like come out their show and you see them just walking around camp campus and you're like i thought they was you know quiet and they're quiet but it's like dang like they have so much talent if i'm making sense i don't know but um what are the classes like all right so classes 
for the most part. Um, uh oh, they're pretty easy. You feel me? Um, like I said, just go to your face and show that you're trying and actually do the work, like actually put in the time. Like, cause I mean, they're not just gonna pass you and you not doing like deadly squat, nothing. Like they not gonna pass you, but just go to the class, show that you actually doing your work, log into your blackboard or whatever, because they can see that like people be trying to finesse. And they can check and see exactly when you have been on blackboard. So just try to make sure you stay on to your work, especially like last semester for me, it was very hard because, well, I, I shouldn't say it was hard, but it was kind of a struggle because majority of my classes were online. So I was working and I was online and then I would try to have to balance out time. Then there's deadlines and then it's like, I would make the deadlines, but the thing about online is I feel like teachers think, oh, it's online. So let me just load them up with more. So you're loaded with two times more of the work, like on the low for real. And you just have to do what you do. Just make time and do it. Um, let's see classes last semester like I said majority of everything and everybody's was online especially for the first two weeks um uh, I'm gonna be real the wi-fi at mouse is trash like it's trash you just have to make it do what it do you feel me if you have a hot spot on your phone that's gonna be your it's gonna be your absolute best friend like y'all I be using it when I be on my ipad my macbook my other phone like you have to because the wi-fi moves so slow you feel me and it only do so much so it's like like man you feel me um i just kind of told you all about the activities on campus i also said they had them last semester you feel me they were covid friendly so band life okay so i'm gonna give you all like kind of some information on the band life so like i said i am in the band i am pmm i am also tau beta sigma theta sig <laughs> It didn't even come out right but yeah i i am also top bit sigma as well so um band life i've been in the band for about five years now so it was like it kind of came like it was like a routinely thing that i did every year and i kind of like grown to love it and a lot of people used to be like oh it's like a family and blase blase and i was like no but it really kind of is like if you're planning to come in the band um just make sure you're just on your stuff like make sure you're getting make sure you're getting to learn your skills now um just practice as much as you can because once you come here that's all we're gonna be doing practicing 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 you feel me so just start getting used to that um it was a culture shock for me because i had came from a predominant camera had cut off you guys but i was talking about the band but um anyways basically like it was a it was a culture shock for me because i had came from a predominantly white school so when i got to my house i was like oh my god but you feel me i had grown to love it and it just became something a part of me and i wouldn't change it for nothing in the world so if you're thinking about joining a band, you feel me? Come on with it. Um, like I said, get to learning your skills and things like that now. It's gonna be very, very, very important in the long run. So yeah, um, games were very, very dope, you feel me? Um, the practice, we gonna practice, you feel me? Like, that's just what we do, we known for that. Uh, we gonna practice, we known for, you know, our very energetic performances. So you feel me? Like, come Saturday morning, you better be up, you feel me? Better be ready for the game, it's game time. We about to be in that hole, you feel me? Um, we also travel a lot, so that's dope as well. Um, I'm not even gonna cap. It's been a lot of places, y'all, that I probably, honestly, wouldn't have even been if it wasn't for the band. And that's just on some real stuff. So yeah, um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? All right. Um, all right. So big question right here. How did COVID change or affect Miles College? Like how did it change and affect classes and campus life? So that's a very good question. I actually got asked that a lot. Um, dang, the biggest thing was dormitories i want to say that was one of the biggest things um i typically stay in Stuart reddick i no longer reside in that dorm because for whatever reason they were filled up but they they really won't filled up y'all i don't know it was just excuses but they claim they were filled up so i stay in store in this semester um allegedly beforehand the lady had told me that uh i was only supposed to be having one other sweet mate so because they squeezed me in so late um i had got got three sweet mates which they were cool or whatever but i would get into that i just prefer stuart reddick over snorting so yeah um it changed a lot of things when you walk into your dorms now in the cafeteria well when you walk into your dorms in the cafe now i know for a fact um you have to go to like this little thingy 
majiggy on the wall, scan your face, and your mask has to be on because if it's not on, it's gonna be like, please put your mask on. I was like, oh, okay, Shawnee, oh, all right. But she she kind of caught me off guard, so I was like, dang. But um, you have to go to it, and she's like, temperature detected is normal type stuff. And you have to do that every time you go into your dorm and the calf. So it's like, dang. Um, you have to have a mask on at all times because if you don't, they will find you $25. Like, and they will be some um a-holes about it too at times. You feel me? You'd be like, dang, but they will find you. So just make sure you feel me, you have the mask on. Um, now there's picnic tables all over campus, just about. I kind of want to say, I think they realized, okay, dang, we didn't got these students here everything is online they're pretty much trapped in their dorms and stuff all day and they're just doing work so they're tired of being inside so mind you like i said yo we down in alabama it's kind of warm down there to me majority of the times because like i said originally i'm from columbus ohio y'all know it get cold up here you feel me like berber cold so to me i'd be loving that weather but you know we're able to actually go out there and sit well besides when it's not raining or whatever but you're actually able to go out there and sit sometimes when it's not too hot so i think that's that's why they did that so it's more seating areas available outside um let's see what else i mean in a way i kind of feel like it hasn't changed a lot well actually it has a lot of people well like i said this is for y'all if y'all are attending or whatever but i'm just speaking in general um for me personally a lot of people that i knew didn't even come back because it was just like well hey everything online i can save a heck of a lot of money than what i'm doing now staying on campus and i'm just like oh like you feel me that is kind of dope i would have took that advantage too if i had the option so yeah a lot of people did not really come back for real it was just a lot of freshmen so yeah um and there was no whoa all right next thing so what's near campus what's what's around the campus all right i'm just gonna keep it real with you guys so we're at hbcu we are i don't wanna we're surrounded by the projects you guys so yeah um you feel me we got a gas station i got a wing place kind of right next door to it um we got the western hills mall kind of like right up the, it's like five minutes from the school um it used to have a walmart there but the mall actually used to have a wing place in it um i heard from my cousin around thanksgiving that there's no longer the wing place in the mall and there used to be a chinese place so i don't believe those two places are in there anymore i think it's like a few stores she said but it's it's not really nothing and i know the pizza place is up in the mall as well um there was a bar lounge kind of area that we used to hit up it's called urban smoke but the thing about that place is they they it's good as hell y'all but they used to take forever like cooking their food like it used to take so long so yeah um it was closed this past semester but this is kind of prior before covid like you know we went inside or whatever um let's see we got a walgreens a cvs oh my wrist is itching we have a walgreens a cvs um a save a lot uh as far as fast food let's see oh and it's a family dollar but and the dollar tree but those stores y'all at the first and the end of the month that truck come in them stores them people come in there and get what they get and they be going everything just be walked all over so yeah um your best bet is just going to the walmart 15 minutes away in Hueytown. um ouch that's your best bet i'm gonna just be real with y'all let's see as far as fast food there is a wendy's a mcdonald's a hardy's a kfc a rallies um like i said the wing place is not in the mall no more but there's one literally right down the street from school oh and there's another one in the plaza it's called wings plus so you can go there or whatever um that's like right right there like in the vicinity of the school you feel me type stuff um there is a bank yeah there is a bank up the street wells fargo there is a tire and oil place it's called express so you can go up there if you have a car um i used to take my car to walmart but they used to jit me off they used to charge me for uh whatever oil change it was the more expensive one and they used to be giving me the less one and i used to be one to pay for the expensive one and you feel me and the lady used to be messing it up every time so i just stopped going there so i'd rather just go to express because i have a 2009 anyway so it's kind of a little bit up there in age you feel me so yeah um there is a liquor store if you are of age and you are planning to attend miles there is a liquor store right up the street um i already told you the walmart um is literally 10 to 15 minutes away um it's right up the street in Hueytown. Um, there is a Waffle House right up the street from the school, but I don't really personally care for it. I typically go to the one that's by Hueytown. Another thing dealing to do with campus life. Yeah, another thing dealing 
with campus life. What is there to really do on campus? So, in the daytime, obviously, for you to do is go to school. You feel me? Go to class. Get your money to work. You feel me? That's what you're there for. Go to class. That's that's first thing. First things first. Go to class. You feel me? Um, Because there's so much freedom, kind of, in a way. But um, that's just being in college in general. Um, Go to class in the daytime, clearly. But um, as far as like, you know, in your free time, you're able to go to the stadium sometimes when it's not closed off. Um, you're able to chill on the square. A lot of people be on the square. They got a basketball court. People be out there playing basketball or whatever. It's usually a good time, you feel me? People be on the dorm steps. It's just a chill vibe for real. It is what you make it. Um, if you want to sit around and be boring and sit around in your dorm all day, then that's you. That's going to be you, you feel me? Um, but if you want to go around and make it extraordinary and just go out and just be extra adventurous like I was and was just doing stuff, you're going to be like, dang, like, it's, it's really dope down here. Just get out and see stuff. Um, I will tell y'all this. Everybody is not your friend. So just because you see somebody you have this in common with or blase, blase, they're not your friend at first. Figure them all the way out. I'm telling y'all this because we all go through this when we first get in college but um uh, everybody is not your friend at first y'all so just keep that in mind for sure um i told y'all y'all could chill in the bears den y'all could chill outside of the bears den y'all people be outside playing cards like people real deal just make it what it is what it is there's trees sometimes people have picnics right there um it just be too hot in the daytime but everybody be out at night for the most part you feel me um oh if you have a car i have a car usually typically i might even outside i'm just sitting in my car i go out there like an hour before I'm about to go to bed or take my shower or whatever and I listen to music just if I about do what I do uh I'm not gonna lie no I'm not even finna say it but sometimes I just be out in my car chilling vibing listening to music watching YouTube videos or whatever because I don't feel like being in a dorm and it's like okay I don't really feel like going nowhere else so the best place you can be is, is in your car and if you have a car I'm gonna recommend that you get a decal starting like probably this semester because they they started tripping last semester but what they don't tell you is on the street you can it's the city's property it's not miles so don't let them fool y'all but i do recommend y'all getting a decal i think it's like 60 something dollars so yeah I, i'm gonna invest in one as well um as far as campus events you know like i said um some nights they're gonna be some some nights are not just be on the alert they have remind me one-on-one -on -one. they have texts group chats group me's all of that so just make sure you're in all of that and you'll be caught up with the information and you'll know what's going on you'll know what events is going on this night or that night or whatever there's things that happen on campus you guys it's not boring i promise um I just want to say, when you get there, don't expect, don't expect no Alabama State, no A&M, you feel me, no, no, no Bethune, no, no University of Alabama type stuff. And Miles is not like that, like, it's small, like, really, really small, you guys. So, yeah, I just want to make that clear, like, don't, don't expect none of that. Mm. Okay, so another thing is, what's it like staying on campus? So, for me, personally, I love staying on campus. It has its pros and cons, um, definitely, like, for sure. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna keep saying this, my house is pretty much what you make it. Anything and everything you do at my house, it is what you make it. So, staying in the dorm, if you want it to be miserable or happy, if you want to be beefing with your roommate or you feel me, don't really like them, then that's on you unless you feel me they are just that roommate everybody has had a roommate like that trust me i get it um but for the most part i typically try to look up my roommate on facebook when i see they immediately posted like in the dorm section on bears den and i'm like okay i'm either gonna find them on um uh, facebook or instagram like them the top two i typically find them on facebook i send them a message hey girl da -da 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 -da, we're gonna be roommates i just want to get to know you more what do you like what do you don't like this this and that blase blase what do you bring in i can bring this you feel me type stuff just try to get Get in that type of relationship with your roommate because trust me it will help like I did it with my roommate this semester and um I'm a people's person but I'm not really a people's person but I'm trying to get myself out of that that's my biggest thing for 2021 so yeah um and she was a freshman as well so we ended up becoming real cool and her and one of her homegirls actually became real cool with my sister so it was really dope like you feel me we ended up forming like a little circle but um first thing is first roommates it, it is what you make it it is what it is try to make it good you feel me try to reach out beforehand try to get to know 
that person, you feel me? Um, second thing is, I'm gonna tell y'all about Stuart Reddick and snoring. So my first four or five years or whatever, I've been staying in Stuart Reddick, except for one semester, they had to move me over because my room got broken into. I don't know how, that's another story, whatever. But my room got broken into, um, I had stayed in Stuart Reddick. Um, other than all of that, Stuart Reddick is a dope place. Um, the girls on my hall floor, well, the floor on my hall, well, I get what I'm saying. The girls um, on my floor or whatever, we ended up becoming cool. Like, you know, there is a group chat. Trust me, um, some girls do get to fighting sometimes. There are situations about the washer and dryer. And just to throw this out there to you guys, washer, washing and drying is free at Miles. It used to not be, but now it is. So take advantage of that. Um, that was a disadvantage about staying in Stuart Reddick. There wasn't that many washer and dryers. But now in Snorton, um, my sweet style dorm I stay in, there are plenty of washer and dryers, but there are still people that think that they are at home and typically like to leave their clothes in the washer and dryer. And it's like, no, boo boo, you cannot do that. So yeah, that's one thing. Um, secondly, sometimes people are loud. Like people will wake up at five o'clock, four or five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning type stuff. And you ain't got no class until nine or 12. Well, do they even have, yeah, they had like 12 30s or whatever. But people would just be up anytime in the morning, just blasting music sometimes. And you're like, oh my God. Or just like at night, like in the dorm I am now, it sounds like people are having step practice or something. I'm like, y'all, what are y'all doing? Like, are y'all like fully aware? So I don't know. Um, also a con about staying and snorting is that the fire alarm is always going off. Um, I don't know why it's just always going off. It is what it is. That should be going off at like four or five, six o'clock in the morning. Like I kid you not, that shit went off at like five o'clock in the morning last semester y'all. And I was mad as fuck. Like I was like, no, cause it just woke everybody out they sleep. I thought I was dreaming at first. I had on some band shorts and I had on a hoodie. Just put on the hoodie, put on the freaking hat, put on some boots and was like, come on Rumi, come on y'all. We finna go sit in the car type stuff cause we was out there for a good minute. But yeah, um, you feel me? Just staying in the dorm uh, in general is pretty dope. Um, some dorms do require room checks so your room will get checked weekly like my dorm gets checked now. So just make sure you keep it clean, uh, keep it organized, you feel me? You don't want people talking about you and thinking you're messy and this, this and that. Make sure your hygiene is definitely on point like period point blank that should be another video um the thing with snorting is um the two comparisons are Stuart Reddick you just have the tub and the shower and the bathroom like kind of how it is at home it's its own room and then y'all just share the sink area and then the bath area and then blase blase and then in snorting you have to share the shower the toilet and yeah you pretty much share those two with three other girls so it's like I came from sharing just with one person to three other people and it was just like okay but they're clean so I don't you feel me um it just kind of depends on where you stay. I can't really speak on community because I've never had that and I pray I never have that but now that I'm 24 I am looking for my own apartment so thirdly I just want to say going to miles they're very 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 unorganized so when you get there make sure you have all your financial aid straight because if you don't you're going to just be going through hell and high water and you don't want to be going through that and it takes up a lot of time like it's very draining like i'm going through a whole process right now like only two classes on my schedule what am i supposed to do with that but it's just inconsistency so you have to make sure you're on top of them so yeah i'm gonna end this video right here make sure you guys stay tuned for a part two because i'm only on eight minutes on my memory card and my camera is about to die but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe make sure you guys click that bell down there so you guys can be notified for all of my videos make sure you guys like this video make sure you guys share and if you have any questions hit me up on social media or hit me up down in the comments and contact me and ask me and yeah you guys bye